We were having a conversation a few days before about this bar that we both really love in Dublin but did have one negative experience in. We were there with a group of friends and, you know, we all had this feeling like all eyes were on us and, but like not in a good way, you know. Once we got home, we kind of, we talked about it and we realised that we always have this kind of fear in the back of our minds wherever we go somewhere that's not an LGBTQ plus dedicated space and that you're just not going to be accepted or people are going to look at you, you're going to be judged. But the bar has these like blue lights that go the whole way around the room. As we were talking about the night and the experience, I just started writing things down like blue lights. Um, I wrote like these eyes and, and just things like that. Alex came up with this melody with the words, all these eyes from the side under blue lights. That's actually pretty similar to the melody you hear in the song now. We tried to describe that uncomfortable feeling in the bar in the first verse with all these eyes from the side under blue lights, making you confused. I'm selfish, I know. In this situation, I might be selfish because I'm at a different stage of acceptance than the person I'm with is. So I kind of, I'm not bothered about these people staring, but just because you're comfortable in your sexuality doesn't mean everyone else is gonna be. We then, in the second half of that first verse, switched to being that voice of reassurance for the person and kind of saying like, you know, I know you'll be all right because those LGBTQ plus dedicated spaces exist, um, whether that's a bar or, you know, back at my house or with me, you know, there's somewhere that you can be safe in. And that led us on to our second verse where we then started discussing like, okay, are we still outside in the city walking around or like, where do we go next? And Alex and I kind of got stuck figuring out the scenes in the song. So we got up and we acted out the scenes as if we were literally like the characters in a play. Um, so we'd map out the areas, like what part of the sitting room is the bar and what part is outside in the city. So we'd like walk out the door and be like, okay, what what's natural to do now? Like, where do we go? And that, I suppose, got us onto the counting houses part. Now that part was really us saying like, you know, when you're with someone you love, everything's exciting and everything is like, unique and I suppose the message that we were trying to say was as long as something means something to you don't be afraid to paint that picture and hang it up on the wall for everyone to see like don't be afraid to you know display the life you've you've made for yourself the line removed your jacket and the silence you wore was us saying that this person finally felt safe enough to take off their shell or their silence and be themselves and unfortunately, we can't always be ourselves. So I suppose we were saying that, you know, all I'd ever ask you for is to be yourself around me. The lyric, we can move to the sea like we wanted out of the forest into a home was actually a small reference to my song, The Author. And as we were writing Cat and Houses, it became more and more clear that it was a continuation from The Author. I feel like the sea is one of those places that's just so nice to go to. It's so like stress-free and like fun. Like you always imagine like going to the beach with your friends or like, it was really important for us to kind of think as well, like moving somewhere else it wasn't us running away from something. It was never about what other people wanted. It was always about what we wanted to do. I was like, you can have whatever you want. Like we'll paint the house your favorite color. Um, the tiles can be made out of gold if for some reason you want that. Like there are no limitations on what we can get as long as we don't let others, other people's opinions bring us down. But yeah, that's, that's Cat and Houses. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to know anything else about the lyrics or about the production or anything, just comment down below and I will try my best to reply and explain properly. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon.